What's up, Casey gang? I'm back with another video, and I forgot to record an audio. I just wanted to do a voiceover for all of this, and in this video, I'll be showing you how I record my, I mean, how I do my hair and stuff like that when it's curly, and if you are new to my channel, I'm Kayla. What's up? Go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe, and if you're a returning subscriber, hey, I love y'all, and let's go ahead and get into this video. Right. So in this part, I actually had just taken it down, showing y'all what it looked like before I washed it and combed it with my products. Um, I normally don't let it get this bad, but it did get this bad this time. I'm very procrastinative. I don't like doing my hair at all, but when I use the products, I do. It comes out easy. This is my wet brush. I've had a purple one before, but the orange one is actually really good too. It's for your hair. Like if you have hair like me, that'd be a good thing. And this is my coconut co-wash shampoo and conditioner. It's actually the only thing I use on my hair. And I just put it in and I use that brush and I comb it out. And I'll be back. Just saying really quick that you will not see any of my body parts in this part of the video. But I just wanted to show y'all what it looked like. This is actually only me wetting it down. No soap or anything on it yet. It's just literally water. It went straight down. I have very good quality hair, I believe. And I was just showing y'all. This is my first step to it. I just do this and then I add soap to it. Which I didn't get video. Yes, I know you just seen this part, but this was actually made after I got out the shower. I forgot to make like an intro part video. But I just show you all. I actually just put it up in the towel to dry it off a little bit. And it works really well, like if you take a paper towel and dry off your hair. But I use this and it works great the way I do it. So there was something on my arm told y'all y'all wouldn't see any body parts i'm so sorry um but let me go ahead and take it down so y'all can see what it looks like i have no idea what the heck i'm doing but we're going to take it down and this is literally just washed and combed with the orange brush and the coconut co-wash the beauty product as i am and i love this product honestly fat chin be prepared this is like literally my favorite hair wash my dad's wife actually brought it upon me and i use it all the time and literally all you need is like a few scoops out and don't forget this is the wet brush that i use but i'll be back with more to show you all what i put on it after i have it washed and i'll be back in this part i'll just be showing you what i do after i wash it and i'm out of the shower I'm just filling it, you know, to show y'all how bouncy it is. And, yeah, let's get into the products. I'm actually searching for the stuff that I want to eat. So, this is my Argan Oil Leave-In Conditioner. I love spraying it on my hair. And sometimes when I'm in a rush, I do spray it. And I'm about to spray it on my hair. Just a few squirts or how much ever you think you need. I like to keep all my hair moisturized. And it looks really good today. I didn't even do anything besides wake up. And I'll show y'all a picture at the end of what I look like right now. Anyways, I'm trying to make sure it's all in there. Make sure you get all your hair. And normally you part it to get all your hair. But I was doing a rush to show y'all how I did this. And you just pull it out a little bit. You know, make sure it gets on your hair. And this is also my As, as I Am leave-in conditioner. And it's actually, like I said, the hair wash stuff is one of my favorite products. So this is also one of my favorite products. And I say a few squirts, but, you know, sometimes it needs more squirts. And I feel like black people use this product more. And depending on your hair and how much hair you have, the quality and stuff like that just all depends on this that you use see i used a few more and you will see my hands in a minute go down where i use actually more than i showed y'all but because i wanted to make sure it's all in my hair and normally when i do this i'll part it and put it in my hair i guess that's how you want to say it 
and I just want to make sure it gets all the ends behind my ears, stuff like that. I want all, every piece of my hair touched by that to make sure it stays good and curly and looks really good. So I'm just massaging, massaging, massaging my scalp and yeah, I'm just feeling around. It looks really good. And as you can see, I'm looking around. I'm trying to act cool, but I am looking around for some ponytails, which I later find out or in my lap. Okay. But look at that. It's really good quality. You see, you can see me looking around. It's okay. But you can see all the little fine curls. And it looks really good. There we go. And I always put it on my hands because it's so much easier. And I like my bun to, I mean my bun, my hair to be up a little higher on my forehead. Because I, like, I have so much hair. That it covers all of my back on the side. But I like to be like on my forehead kind of. Because I used to have not so much hair. I'll try to go find a picture and insert it. Because I like I literally did not have any hair at one time. But all my hair has started growing back. And yes. Yes. Anyways. So it does take me a few tries to get it all in the ponytail. But... It's good. And this is my final look. This is washed with the co-wash, the coconut as I am co-wash. This is the products that are on here is argan oil spray leave-in conditioner and as I am leave-in conditioner stuff that you like squirt in your hand. I don't know. And here I was just messing around for like a thumbnail maybe. I don't know yet. But I love each and every one of y'all. And if y'all have made this journey great, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye, guys. Love y'all.